And India's Mars mission is ready for its last maneuver. The main liquid engine of the spacecraft will be fired for 3.968 seconds. The astro scientists will reduce the, the velocity of the spacecraft by 2.142 meters seconds so that it will help them go closer to the planet. The engine of Mangalyaan was uh, idle for nearly 300 days. Remember, this is a crucial and important move as this will determine whether the ISRO will need to go into Plan B mode. Plan B mode is that they will fire the engine thrust for a longer time so that they can maneuver the insertion into Mars effectively. As of now, all commands are in auto mode except if they encounter some problems. Rohini now joining us on the phone line with more. Rohini, take us through what is happening now. The most important uh, period of uh, time at 2.30 is when they were looking at firing the engine. The engine has been, liquid engine has been idling for nearly 300 days. What is important to know now is it is at this point of time they would really know whether they will be able to insert the Mangalyan into Mars and then land it at, in 48 hours from now. What is also important at this point of time is that this is a crucial test because the maneuvers take place from now. What the ISRO scientists also have told us is the last 48 hours, uh, everything has been on auto mode except for a few commands that are being given. This is that few, one of those few commands which is very crucial at this point of time. If they succeed in this, then they can look forward to the next step, which will be the most important one where we can land Mangalyan on Mars. Right, Rohini, and if you can just sort of shed light on uh, the, the significance of this, considering uh, this will sort of ensure the insertion into Mars. Uh, it is the D-Day today, but uh, what happens if this fails? Well, they have a plan B in place. Uh, every, every, every such kind of a test would have a, a multiple plans, but plan B is also most important, that they will fire the engine for a longer time. This also means if they do that, the velocity will increase. They will have to maneuver a lot more. See, the whole thing is precision in this. If they maneuver a little more, that means the timing towards reaching Mars also will be delayed. And that is what Plan B is. They have set it in place, but they're looking at it positively. As we speak right now, it's being tested at this point of time. And when it happens, if with the success of this, they can look at finally saying that Mangalyan can be... At least they can start uh, looking at forward to Mangalyan being a success. Uh, and Mangalyan is also, and what the is for scientists and for the, for the country especially, and the scientific community especially, this will be, if we go successfully with it, we'll be the first Asian country to successfully launch a Mars mission in the first attempt. By Johnny Swami giving us that, that update. Uh, remember, this is as the ISRO will be test firing its liquid engine, the crucial test on Mangalyan. India will be the first country in uh, entire Asia to do this. And uh, that also will be the first country to do this in, a, in its maiden attempt. Of course, only three agencies have done it so far. There seems to be no concept of day or night for the 200-odd sleep-deprived ISRO scientists here at Mission Control. Tracking the final phase of the Mars Orbiter mission, these men and women anxiously stare at the mission's digital clock. They know the extreme challenges that still lie ahead. But glory is nearly within India's grasp. Not only did these scientists and engineers successfully launch the Mars Orbiter, but they have also been able to successfully monitor and raise its limits. The process of successfully waking up the engine of the Mangalyaan spacecraft was a tense moment. But like everything else, even that went just fine with the Mangalyaan. As 200 million kilometers away, the sleeping beauty awoke from its deep slumber to make history for India. Every mission is a new mission, like what uh, Sachin Tendulkar told, even after uh, getting so many centuries. Every time he goes onto the field, he looks uh, afresh. See, ISRO has got the same attitude. Though we have done so many missions, we never let the complacence come in. But at the same time, let me tell, teams are not nervous. We have done uh, all the simulations required. And we have left uh, no stones unturned in uh, doing the test simulation in the ground to simulate the same mass orbit in certain conditions. And with that process, we are quite confident and we will be successful. India's dream project took to the skies on 5th of November 2013. And with it, the hopes and aspirations of every Indian who ever dreamt of conquering the stars. Now with the Mangalyan on the verge of finishing its hundreds of millions mile long journey, Indians all over the world can take pride in the fact that their nation has now grown self-reliant when it comes to space exploration.
I remember when Chandrayaan was launched at that time, uh, one of the missions was to find water on the moon and when they did, the scientific community was elated. Well, that's what a similar kind of an, possibly a new revelation from Mars is what is expected from the scientific community and if it is so, you can definitely say that India's Mangalyaan mission has created a niche for itself. Mr. Kamal Shrimuti Swami in Bangalore for headlines today.